Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2, the Ezio Collection. We came from our new villa. Uh, we kind of checked it out. Obviously, there's a lot of things not unlocked -y still. So uh, let's take our horse, our beautiful horse. And it looks like we're heading to Tuscany. Gallop and trot. Boy, the bounce we used to have on horses. Uh oh. Sorry about that. To Tuscany! Are we sure we want to go to Tuscany? I assume so, because that is uh, where it's pointing us. Assassin's Creed ate puppies' revenge. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love the puppy's revenge. Oh. That's a pretty horse, too. So, we are oh. basically on the outskirts. Yeah, do we have any viewpoints? Nothing nearby. Uh, I'm going to highlight this viewpoint just to kind of have it. I think we're going to do the memory first. Go this way. Well, get out of the way, dude. Hey, hey! Is this a viewpoint? It is a viewpoint, but it's not uh, labeled as such yet. Aha, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> That is not what I wanted. Okay, Mario, looks like you have your assistance here. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? What goes around? Help Mario and his men assassinate Yara di Passi. Okay. More assassinations? Dead of night? Stick with Mario. All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. Sweet. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Well, somebody didn't make it out. I'll attack them. Okay, throwing knives. Oh. That looks like we're heading up this way. <laughs> okay, select throwing knives in your weapon wheel. Press L2 to select a target. And square to fire them. So easy. Let's get this guy up here if we can. It. All right, another archer up here. Let's try to get maybe a throwing knife back would be kind of nice. Shush. Quiet. Somebody near. Where is this other? Oh, there he is. I'm too far away. I can't quite. Alright, 
right, let's let's get some knives back if we can. Maybe not. Well done, Ezio. We're in. This way, man. Follow Mario, like. <laughs> I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. Sure. What's Fieri up to now? They kill the guards. But something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? Press, uh... The signal again when you should follow. Instead, okay. he's turned us into nurses. And what? He's fair. You join him this day. That's okay, I'll take care of them all. That's totally a fine, you know. There he is, get him! <laughs> Just beat his butt. Wait, there's one left. Okay, well that was interesting. Let's um <laughs> let's take a look. Should be a holster here somewhere. There's a chest here. Where's there it is. That should be enough to get our notoriety down enough. Perfect. And uh we're gonna get this viewpoint maybe along the way. Tara... Tara what? Tara Rognosa. Rognosa? 13th century building that, uh... Yeah. Nope. Okay, we gotta be uh, careful about this so we don't jump off. Oh! <laughs> How do I get over here? <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> Ezio? Maybe, maybe not. I need to get up here, though. Well, this'll work. Oh, or not. There we go. Finally. Look at that moon. Oh my goodness. To hit X, I should not have hit an X. That's how easy it is. I can't do that. That that is how easy it is. <laughs> yep. Don't hit X. No matter if it takes a little bit longer to climb, that's okay. Because as you can see, what can happen if you hold down X while climbing? Oh, it's very tempting, isn't it, to uh, speed things up just a little bit. It's not worth it. It's so not worth it. Oh, what is it? Is that a feather? It certainly looks like a feather to me. And that is a good way to find these feathers, because uh, they're usually up in areas like that. Go into Eagle... <sighs> Don't resync again. Go into Eagle Vision. 
Let's see. Let's see if we can get off of this. Right? Use eagle vision, and you can see a lot of things a lot more clearer. Hence, eagle vision! Let's let, let, there's another one over there. You barely see it, but you can see it. Okay. So, we need to get our mother back, obviously. So, I'm going to get this feather. <laughs> A herald here. Happy By order of the Honorable Council of Florence, the tithe on this season's harvest shall extend to every second bushel oh, after ten, what are you doing? and three quattrini per hundred. Wouldn't you, you like to know? Hmm. To all there's, breeders, <laughs> there's nothing to jump into, unfortunately. Due to the recent outbreak of choleric tumors. Of stock. Has he been drinking? Yes, I've been drinking. <laughs> it's funny. He's been drinking. Oh, money. Money, money, money. Let's see, are we gonna find our way through here? I can't follow you there. You can't? Well, then you shouldn't. Mm. Ugh, you can't. Gosh, it's you. Mm hmm. That's not Mario, is it? Can't be. No way. No, that's just one of our guys. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. And here I was getting a feather. Brothers and I will deal with these guns. I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See that justice is done. This trash is dealt with. You Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, yes, sir. I will not die for this cause. Yes, you will. <laughs> I told you you would. We have another viewpoint. Oh man, actually. While we're here, there was a building. Which building was it? Sorry. Was it this one? That had um, a glyph on it? Maybe not. Hmm. They're still showing an enemy here, and Mario was right here, just kind of chilling. I don't know. It's a little bit. All right, whatever. The killer is here. Make haste, Amici. Take your The killer is here. What uh? What a thing to say. Nope. Okay. How are we gonna get across? All right, I see it. Here we go. The building here has a 
glyph. Not on this side. I hear it. There it is. Got a glyph over here. It's getting easier and easier to hack into Abstergo's mainframe. It's like I know what data I'm looking for. I've already lived it. Infinite knowledge. Unlock the file. So, if you don't know, I am, um not solving these right now. I'm going to solve them all at once. Is the plan. When we have them all. See another feather. A lot of feathers. Oh, oh, nice. There's a box right here. All right, my goons. There we go. Very nice. Not you! Get it! Bravo! Bravo! Get him, guys! They got still the rope. Pumpkin, it would seem. Bravo! Bravo! Excuse me, I want this. <laughs> so this is gonna be our first scroll. Well, we got our first uh, codex page to put on that wall at our villa. I should leave now, fast. Yes, you should. Just saying. I, I love how the shops just kind of stay open 24-7. Green? Red or green? Kind of a brown red? That is ugly as anything. The original white. And of course the black we already own. I don't think I really want any. I'm open most days. Should you change your mind? There's not any new pouches yet. Hmm. I'm going to not buy anything yet, I don't think. Oh. Very nice. A Syr uh, Syrian sword would be nice. But I really want to ammunition. Oh, throwing knives. Okay, so if we fill all, that's 500. Okay. You'll be well satisfied. That I will know definitely it. take. See, the, the problem is I want my bank right away. Uh, is that a Top? It's up top. Alright. I can't follow you there. Gotta help Mario. Make sure he stays alive. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. 
Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Ooh, did we get to kill him finally? Nice. Okay. Can we reach them from here, is my question. Oh. <laughs> that worked out kind of well, actually. Can we get them back? At least not on that one. Hey, they're not cheap right now. <laughs> Oh, man. Could we? Possibly. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to sneak up behind him. I don't know if we'll be able to. We're going to try. God. Oh, so help me. Oh, so help me. It did say grasp, did it not? Got to be joking me right now. Oh, man. All right. I, <laughs> at least they got a way to back up, it looks. Uh, I'm, I want to get this. I really want to get this. I want to throw somebody off of a ledge. We haven't done that yet. See, why can't I grab him? I don't understand that. There is no I'll make sure your death comes quick. Yeah. Well, that's disappointing that I couldn't grab anybody. Nobody else is gonna try. Okay. I tried to be all assassin-y and try to throw him off the ledge. What Didn't work. What are allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? Uh, I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avessi sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che pro... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. What goes around? Yep. Comes around. Knife belt acquired. Which we kind of got along the way. In the codex page. A letter to Fran Francesco. Uh, what's cool is we now have throwing knives. We can really do some damage with uh, the, the rangers. The rangers. The archers. On rooftops, failures to heed the archers' warnings will cause them to attack. But honestly, the archers are not that big of a deal. 
I still would like to throw somebody off a roof once in a while. Just saying. Um, let's heal while we're here. It's cheap enough. We have almost ten thousand. We're full on supplies. I'm back if you need me. All right. Oh, that's the feather box. I was wondering what that was, that symbol. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, it's you. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. A change of plans. Learn about the villa and discover the codec pages hidden there. The Pazzi answer to another. A Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Okay, read the letter. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But, I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Board games need to do that. Hire, hire the, uh, you know, the voice actors to read those special notes and stuff like that. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? 
Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I'll start with the page I took from Vieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Sweet! First picture, uh, Codex page locations are revealed on your map by reaching viewpoints. Kinda like everything else, be nice if they did that with feathers. Side quest, you can also use your own GPS marker um, in the Animus desktop. So yeah, we can, you know, do all kinds of good stuff. I don't think we can actually leave the Animus, can we? Uh, I don't think so, but then we can do DNA inventory, inventory. That's what we have. Map, spiriters, database, options. Database? Nope. How many of those true things do we have now? We ha we got in four. We have a lot to do. Why do we have a lot to do? Okay. Uh, upstairs, I think. Must have to talk to Claudia. Or mother. But still, up higher. Will mother talk to us? No. Where, where is, uh... Where is this? I'm guessing it's up here. Yep. Uh, I, I like how it wants me to <laughs> resync again. Oh, Ezio, what are you doing? I, I did my own. I gotta listen to my own advice. Don't, don't hold X when uh, climbing. You can hit it one. You can hit it once. You know to get a jump, but don't, don't uh, hold it. <laughs> get in trouble that way. Collect the four uh, codex pages. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just jump down and do it. And okay, so we gotta find all four. Um, probably not stand on top of it. Okay, there's one. Oh boy, we're gonna have to go. Let's go to the furthest one and then go straight across. <laughs> or not. Oh, I hear thinglies. Gotta be up there. Is it a feather or is it, uh,. Oh, it's one of the statues. Just gotta walk up to it. Oh, those are the, there are the statues. I forgot where they uh, were. Or, you know, that they were in this area. Find those statues, they go on those bases behind the area. Our mansion, villa, whatever you want to call them. Just gotta keep our ears open for the... For the twinkle sounds. I don't know how else to put the phrase that. There's two. Gotta head all the way across to this side here. Oops. The nice thing about being here is there's no guards. No guards that are gonna kill us. There's a feather. We gotta help mom. We gotta help mom out. She's been through a lot. That's something over there as well. Look at that. On the rooftop. I think those are just birds. Let's put some eagle vision on. See if we can't see anything. Oh, there's another statue. 
And another statue. Oh, heck, let's go get the statues. There's one here. I don't know how many there are. Still, there's some. Oops. Up, up, up. Okay, I hear it. Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, let's do this. There we go. Um, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Let's have another look around here in Eagle. What is that down there? A bench. All right, never mind. <laughs> Didn't mean the eagle vision. I think there's a total of six of those statues. If I uh, remember. And then there's one way out here. So we gotta go outside. Interesting. Oh, that is impressive. That is impressive. Oh, it's a hay, hay pile that uh, is lighting up. That's interesting. Okay, I don't see anything nearby. Wow. Okay, we need to... We need to find some place we can jump off of. Preferably some place with a horse. Oops. Yeah, I'm assuming the main gate is right here. I see a feather. Hmm. Question is, how do we get up there? Oh, I see. Okay, there's these convenient little uh, things here. Perfect, and then we can easily get down. Yay. Let's get a horsey. Horsey. Take my horse. Is it? Rear. Oh, I see. Alright. Let's go, bud. Definitely it. Okay, got all the codexes. Exchange of plans complete. I gotta head back inside. That says something about the codex doing something. I see another feather. I'm going to get the feathers when I see them, but I'm not going to go out of my way. Same thing with treasure boxes, because we do need the money, obviously. 
especially right now at the beginning. Uh, as soon as we get a bank, that'll change. Ooh, there's a uh, back entrance, eh? We will check that out in just a second. Do a little bit of exploring around our villa. Nothing here, I can tell. Is there another building? Oh, there is another building. Okay. Why the pop in, man? Something on the other side, though. Another feather. Perfect. Now, I do believe each section will tell you how many collectibles are left. If I remember correctly. And that's just going to lead us around back to the front. Yeah. So I want to check out this back Spain. exit. Hey, hey! I sort of remember it, but not really. What's this back here? Oh, I, can't, I can't get to it. They just put it there for decoration. That's that's great. Oh, look, someplace you can explore. Psych. Oh, never mind. That's, um, that's not going to happen. All right. Back inside we go. Remember when this, uh, the tra I remember the trailers for this game when it first came out. And I remember them showing off the horses and, like, yeah, this is the most realistic riding experience you'll ever have in a video game. <laughs> uh, at the time, it was very true, mind you, that this was like cutting edge. This this was it back then. And um, and, and now you look at games like Red Dead, you know, the, the latest Assassin's Creed games. It's like how far we've come. It, it, isn't it amazing? I, I just, I love seeing the progression of a series or game, you know, even, even some of the bad games that have come out serious, you know, it happens, it happens. So now if we go out back here, we should be able to put some of these, uh, statues, right? Okay, do, do they automatically? How many statues do we have? Two, four, do we have to place them? Oh, there we go. Got two of them here already. Oh, that's right, they give you something. I forgot, 2,000 florins, very nice. We have enough for another one, that's the question. Apparently, nope. I know we got more than two. Oh. Okay. So that's what those little statues are where they go. And they'll give you some something a little extra. Alright, so when can we start you know, renovating our place here. It's looking pretty run down. I think this is it, actually, right now. Alright, Claudia. My treasurer. Oops. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was oh. here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. Poor Claudia. Some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. 
If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. That's right, you have to empty that chest. I completely forgot. Completion is only 1%. Shops, um, renovations. There's a lot to do here. Collections. All codex pages on the wall. That's all locked. So total codex pages are 30. Um, we do have some feathers that we can turn in. Equipment. So there's 22 weapons, one, two, three, four sets of armor. The armor of Altair doesn't count. It's a, you know, it's, it's a collector edition type thing. Uh, chest, it generates an income of 171 florins every 20 minutes. Maximum chest capacity is 688. So the bank, if we up, update the bank, we get more money. Well, I think we get more money by renovating everything, all the shops, and of course all the, the well, the guilds, the barracks, church, mines, brothel, but it's the bank that ups the amount, I believe, in the chest. Claudia will now store the villa's income in a chest next to her. Come often to collect the money from this chest. Okay. Um, can't, apparently. The architect. Maybe we, maybe we gotta just finish this whole thing out, right? Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell mud. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Okay, quite a bit. Um, see, the, the art and the bank we don't have at all. We do have a blacksmith working, but... Yeah, and a doctor. We do not have a tailor. The brothel will increase the city's value. Reopening the mines, that's where we just were and was like, mm. uh, renovating the church. I don't even know, how, okay, we have 11,000. We have to be kind of, you know, thinking about this a little bit. And I believe what we're going to do is we're going to get maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe we get the tailor and the art merchant so we have all the shops. And it's only a thousand, so let's do that. Okay, and we don't have a bank. Let's do that. And the art merchants. Let's do that. Okay. These four thousand. <laughs> the most expensive thing to to fix around here, or or tied for the most expensive, is a well. Not exactly sure what we want to do here. 
Okay, it's 5,000 and 7,000, 3,000 for the doctor, 25 for the tailor. Let's do the cheapest here. And we'll do the doctor as well. We're at 5,000. Let's do what we can. Blacksmith would probably be next. And I don't think there's anything under that, so we're good. Buon viaggio. The architect allows you to renovate the buildings. Uh, this will increase the villa's income. Boy. And we need to speak with Mario. Okay, so uh, do I really have to wait 20 minutes? You here to look at the book? So we got 9% now back instead of 1. So shop renovations will give us 1300 every 20 minutes. Collections and equipment. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, apparently we get an extra bonus uh, for getting everything unlocked. And especially with all the collections. Wow. Okay, we have a lot to do. What to do, guys? Okay, I'll be back in 20 minutes. A presto, Ezio. Get more money so we can renovate more. All right, Mario. The, uh, the codex pages that I just picked up everywhere. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Wait a minute. The, uh... Okay. Why he's walking fast. Oh yes, the special armors. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life. But his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia. Hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself. With no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. I think we will. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Statue of... Wii U? Looks like a Russian uh, assassin. Darius. I I could definitely be wrong, but uh Wow. Egyptian I mean net oh, these are getting old. Biltani? Looks like um, the assassins maybe from the Odyssey. That would have been cool if they had uh, statues of, you know, the future assassins. But of course they didn't know what games they were going to make. But, you know, at this time. Altair's armor lays behind the grate. The grate is fixed in place by six locks that we have to kind of find. And we do that by... Uh, dealing with some climbing puzzles. <laughs> it's 
7 of 30. So we can't do anything, I don't think. Oh, no, we can. We can interact. Okay, rotate. Hmm. Oh, they stay in place. You just got to rotate them. Okay. Well, then that goes like that. And then this... Uh, the one down below. Obviously, it's gonna go like that. Oh, it's exciting getting into this again. Okay, looks like we're heading back to Florence. Let's go see our upgrades that we did. So, here's our blacksmith. I shouldn't buy anything until we get him completely upgraded. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't have any money for anything now, uh, which is okay. Hmm. I kind of want this one. It's plus one and deflect. We can't afford it. Eh. Knife, a stiletto. Oh, we like the stiletto. I gotta get the stiletto. Can we refill? Yes, we can. And we're broke. I'll just count it again. I would say I should really wait until we have the, uh, the discounts. Where's the bank at? Come and see what my little gallery has. Paintings and treasure maps. We'll, we'll get we'll get the map. And the paintings. Uh, every time you buy a painting, that will increase the value a little bit as well. Grazie for your patronage. And there's all the diamonds. Where's the bank at? I do know that we, uh, fixed it up. I thought it was right here on the edge. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we still have vines. All over the uh, villa. All who need aid are welcome here. Yeah, you say that currently. I don't believe you. There is a chest out here somewhere. Okay, let's head back to Florence. Yeah! So we got rid of Little Weasel. We got rid of the backstabber that said we didn't have any proof of his father and his brother's innocence so we're, we're well on our way to getting these guys and really sinking in our blades and yeah we're it's on Let, let's just put it that way it's on jump and press x in midair to dive So we should have unlocked fast travel. I think. Let's 
Really useful information. Yeah, we know that already. See, there's a fast travel here, so can we use it now? We can. So we can fast travel to the villa, Tuscany, very nice. Okay. Well, I think this is a good time to end the part here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.